Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the IIT JAM 2022 Mathematical Statistics. Today we will discuss about how you can solve this question number 22 which is of the two marks are there. So what is the question is that if you have some XIs, there are the IID distribution with the uniform distribution. How you can find the expected value of this, uh, this random variable. That's again a very simple task are there but you can do is you have to think about these distributions. What is given to you? X i s x1, x2 and x3 follows the uniform distribution over the closed interval. Now you have to need the logarithm of the x i. So it means what is the logarithm of x i? You all know that minus of the logarithm is follows the exponential distribution with the parameter of 1. So if I call this as of the say y i, so what is the meaning of that? Log of x i s that is a, uh, y1 follows the exponential distribution. Also, you can all of all of us knows that if exponential distribution with parameter lambda, this is equivalent to the gamma distribution with the parameter 1 comma lambda. So I can say this follows the gamma distribution with the parameter of here. So I can write this given quantity as if I multiply, I can write this as minus if I multiply this as a negative, I can open this as a log x1 minus log x2 minus log x3. So I can write this as y1 plus y2 plus y3. Now our task is to find then uh, this follows which distributions. Be. What is the result behind is that so all of us knows that if x1 follows the gamma distribution with parameter alpha, x2 follows the gamma distribution with parameter beta, then x1 plus x2 will follow the gamma distribution with parameter alpha plus beta and x1 upon x1 plus x2 follows the beta distribution of first kind with the parameter alpha comma beta that's the per that's the rule behind that now we can do about this one so since y1 follows the gamma distribution with parameter here we need the ratio that means this follows the beta distribution of first kind with the parameter alpha means that is the parameter of the x1 what is the parameter of the y1 is 1 here this is the x2 what is the x2 is this is my x2 so what is the y2 plus y3 again it follows the gamma distribution with parameter alpha plus beta. So y2 follows the gamma distribution with parameter 1, y3 follows the gamma distribution with parameter 1. So y2 plus y3 will follow the gamma distribution with parameter 2. Now how you what is the remaining part is that but you want to find that if I call this as say z so what is that this is nothing but my e of z square where z follows the beta distribution of parameter 1 comma 2. Now there are the two ways you want to find the e of z square. The first way is that you can find e of z square as of integration from 0 to 1. What is the beta function is 1 upon beta of mn x raised to power m minus 1 1 minus x raised to power n minus 1 over here. So if you substitute here this is a z square. This is m is my 1 because it's of this is my m this is my n. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1 of dz divided by beta function of 1 comma 2. So beta function of 1 comma 2 is outside, this is a constant value. And what is that? This is z cube, integration of the z cube is 1 by 3. This is my z cube, so integration is 1 by 4 is there. What is the beta function of the 1 comma 2? All of you know that I can write as a gamma function of 1, gamma function of 2 over gamma function of 3. So this is 1 upon 2 factorial that is a 2. So it will be my 2 of this will be my 1 by 12 so the answer is 1 by 6. This is the first method. What is the second method is how you can solve this, uh, this question in the second way. So I can uh, write you for you can use the directly. What is the if z follows the beta distribution of 1 of this then you can find the expected value of the z by using this formula straightforward formula of this is m upon m plus n and the variance of the z you can write this formula as mn upon m plus n square and that's depending upon you whichever you want to use so therefore what is the expected value of the z this is my 1 this is my 2 so 1 upon 3 what is the variance of the z is my mn that is a 2 upon m plus n whole square that is a 9 m plus n plus 1 that is a 4 so this is my 1 by 18 so therefore e of z square is variance of the z plus this whole square 
वन बाय एटीन प्लस वन बाय नाइन दिस इज थ्री बाय एटीन अगेन इट्स वन बाय सिक्स इज द राइट आंसर सो दैट्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन यू वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस फॉर्मूला और यू वॉन्ट टू यूज एज ए इंटीग्रेशन सो रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज द कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दैट वेन एवर एक्साइज फॉलो द यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लॉगिथम ऑफ द एक्साइज माइनस ऑफ द लॉगिथम एक्साइज फॉलो द एक्सपोनेंशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड वेन इट्स एक्सपोनेंशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू कैन राइड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द गामा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड वंस इज ए गामा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन इफ एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू बोथ आर द गामा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन द सम इज ऑल्सो विद द गामा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वाइल एक्स वन अपॉन हेयर विल फॉलोज द बीटा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट काइंड विद द पैरामीटर ऑफ हेयर सो दिस इज द कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दैट यू हैव टू सॉल्व दिस इन अ वेरी सिंपल मैन वी विल सी सम मोर क्वेश्चन इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल दैन यू कैन सिंपली लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स बेस्ट ऑफ लाइक स्टूडेंट्स हैप्पी लर्निंग